Uh, so welcome to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel. My name's Connor and joining me today is Adriana Camposano. Adriana, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me, by the way. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great over here. And obviously, thanks for uh, taking the time to speak with me today. Uh, and obviously, people will know you as like a young, uh, would you prefer actor or actress? Do you have a preference on which one? Um, either one. It doesn't really matter yeah. to me. Yeah, <laughs> or, or, or a young, uh, you know, uh, professional in the entertainment industry, you know, a young actor, young actress. Um, so I suppose, how did you first kind of find yourself in this path? And like, what kind of made you want to uh, pursue it professionally? Yeah, so I started acting when I was five years old and I'm 16 now. So I've been doing it for a really long time. Right. Um, it was always something as a kid that I wanted to do. I mean, I would watch like Nickelodeon and Disney shows and I would always just be like, Mom, I want to be like them. Like I want to mm. act with these people on TV. Um, but she really had no idea about the industry like at all. But someone she worked with actually knew a manager and she like found someone for me. So I kind of just ended up signing with her eventually. And from there, I just started, I was very fortunate to like start booking stuff really quickly. I actually booked my first audition. <laughs> so. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, well done. Yeah. yeah. yeah Thank you. Absolutely. And following up on what you just said, like who would have been like your generation of like Disney and Nickelodeon? Like who were you looking up to back then? Oh, like Does that make sense? So I watched a lot of, I was mostly a Nick kid. So I watched a lot of like iCarly, Victorious, Zoe sure, 101. Sure. Yeah, mm. those were my favorites. I actually, Sam was like my favorite character in iCarly and I cut bangs at five years old because I wanted to look <laughs> like her. Oh, for sure, for sure. And obviously played by Jeanette McCurdy um, for anyone who might not know. Yeah, absolutely. And I suppose kind of following on on like how young you were when you started, obviously you were on Orange is the New Black. That's one of your... Uh, big projects you've done and like being as young as you were when you did it like have you actually watched the show it's very it's a very adult show to say the least yeah. right so um I was never allowed to watch the show obviously being so young mm. but I was allowed to watch like the scenes that I was in and I I probably can watch it now um mm. and maybe I, I probably will so maybe it'll give me more of like an understanding of my actual character because it's sure. kind of hard like, not really knowing the whole storyline and everything yeah um but yeah so hopefully <laughs> I mean uh, did you have any context at the time of like what your character was even doing or it was just kind of you knew what you had to do but you didn't have like any idea why or like what the wider story was Does that makes sense um I think I did have a pretty good understanding of like my family's storyline um mm. in that sense but I just didn't know like everything else kind of going on because I know it's like there's like a lot of different kind of plots going mm. on at like once in this show um but I think I think I did have a pretty good understanding of like my situation and it was good to know because it can definitely help when you're playing a character to actually know what's going on yeah that, I think that, that definitely helped you know I, I let you know um in any job you know it's helpful to know what, what the hell it is you're doing that's definitely useful yeah absolutely uh, and I suppose obviously like jumping forward in time right you're on uh, chicken girls you play poppy and like, I suppose, like, how would you describe that character? And is she like similar or different to you in real life? Oh, okay. So Poppy, she's very like free spirit, like super optimistic, always there for mm. her friends. But people will kind of think she's like in her own world. I don't know if you know, like Kat from Victorious. I just, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like spacey a little bit. Yeah. Of her kind of like in her own world. Mm. Um, and everyone kind of thinks she's annoying, but like secretly likes her. Um, mm. I would say we're different because she I don't think me like I don't resemble that as much but I do think I'm very like optimistic and kind of always there for my friends in that sense but right. just a different type of ways <laughs> yeah absolutely uh, in general when you kind of uh, are cast as a new character do you kind of look more like how is she similar or how is she different to me like do you uh, have a preference on either angle um not really I mean I think it's fun getting to like play play someone that's a little bit different for me because it kind of just like I don't know brings out a different side of me that you know I would never portray as myself um mm. and and I feel like sometimes I even get like inspired by like the characters I play I know she's very into like astrology and stuff like that so even I've like been starting to actually learn about mm. that stuff and I actually find it really interesting so that's pretty cool like seeing that, those similarities um come, sure. come to play so that, that's like life imitating art as opposed to art imitating life. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting, yeah, for sure, how like the character's kind of rubbing off on you more than 
you putting yourself into the character. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, yeah it works both ways. It's amazing. Absolutely, and I suppose right, yeah, because it was it was season nine, right? You came in right yeah, on the show. So, I, how was your overall experience of uh, of filming season nine? And like, did you get close with the other cast members on the show? Oh, it, it was like my favorite time ever. I had such a blast mm. with the whole cast and the crew members as well. They're all so amazing and they were so welcoming and like loving when I first entered the set and we all just became like best friends right away. I actually went to Disney World for my birthday in November, which was like right. uh, October, which was a month after we filmed and I went with like the cast. That's like how close we got like so fast. Mm. And yeah, it was just a really amazing experience. It was a different character than the ones I've played before. Um, so yeah, I had a really good time and I'm looking forward to hopefully continuing Poppy's journey. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed for you, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I don't know how much you're even able to say about this next project I'm mentioning, but you're in a pilot for Hulu called uh, Olga Dies Dreaming. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Which has uh, Aubrey Plaza. And like, I suppose, yeah, just like, what can you say about that? And like, who do you play? And yeah. yeah so I really don't know what I can say. I don't think I can say much, but... I think I can say that I'm playing young Ari Plaza, also young Olga, um, right. same person. Um, mm. But yeah, so I think we're waiting for the show to get picked up and then hopefully see what happens from there. But so far we filmed the pilot episode and that's all I really know and all I can really say. I don't know much either, so. Right, yeah. Right now. Yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, right, that's for Hulu and Orange is the New Black was Netflix. Like, yeah. Obviously, the two kind of big streaming platforms. Have you seen much of a difference or similarity of working on one of each? Um, honestly, I don't really like see the difference as much. I think also because how young I was on Orange is the New Black, I probably didn't right. like pay as much attention to it as I would at my age now. Um, but really, everything's pretty much like went the same way. I, in my opinion. For sure, for sure. And as well as all that, right, you're also in, I believe, Lorena, which is, is that, I, I sort of described it as a film documentary. Could you could maybe describe more about that and like, uh, yeah, your involvement in it? Yeah, okay, so Lorena is a short film and it's about a very like, um, a very powerful story about Lorena. Um, mm. It's kind of a, a very like serious topic that, um, it's very inspiring and I'm really excited for like this story to be shared because it's so important for like young kids to know like it's it's okay to use your voice and how important right. it is to, to share a story like this especially this being in such a time period where you know no one really said anything no one believed you know victims at that time um right, got it. So yeah it, it was very very powerful and I had like the most amazing time filming it um I, I've learned so much and getting to, you know, be with the cast and crew members during that whole experience mm. just made it like so surreal. It, it was amazing. I'm so excited for, for it to be shared. Absolutely. I mean, do you know when that is like out or available or has that not been announced yet? Um, so it's in post-production at the moment. Right. So I would say hopefully soon, um, but I don't know an exact like date or time. Absolutely. And obviously, like, as well as acting, right, you've also got quite a, a you know, a, a great uh, following on social media. Like, I believe uh, I checked 45,000 Instagram followers. Is that, yeah. is that right? Yeah. yeah. So I suppose, right, being a, a young actor, especially, and in that kind of uh, world, like how important is having a strong, like, you know, following on those platforms, would you say? Um, I, I think it's very important in a sense. I mean, I like to, I've started using my voice a lot more advocating mm. for things that I believe is right and things I want to share with you know I have a platform that I can use to to educate people or just share my own opinions um because you know I have every right to mm. and um so I think it's super important being able to you know share all of that and also just like show people my life and like my everyday kind of things because when people are only seeing me on tv I think it's right also, it's also nice to see what they're just doing on a normal day so I like sharing sure. that side of it Yeah, because yeah, you're in quite a unique position with anyone who's your age, because by the time you were like old enough to kind of understand what's going on around you, like the internet would have already been a big thing as opposed to like most other people where it kind of blew up while they're already kind of conscious of what was going on. So do you ever remember a time that before like the whole entertainment thing and social media were intertwined? Or has that always been the case since you 
have been in the industry? Because obviously you, you mentioned you've been doing it for quite a while, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? One yeah, more no, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, sorry. Obviously, that being as, as young as you are, right, I'm saying that uh-huh. you wouldn't really remember a time when that social media wasn't huge. Like, so that's always been a big thing since you started in the industry, because you mentioned that you were quite young when you got started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I think I've always had, I think Instagram, I had it in like 2013, but like my mom ran the Instagram account. So I right. didn't really have any like knowledge of like how to use it or anything. Um, so yeah, I really, I really didn't use it much like when I was younger, but I definitely like see how like much of an impact it really makes when you do have it. And I think it's mm. really nice to be able to like have control of like, you know, your own little, it's like a own little portfolio and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And this is actually the last question I've got. And, you know, we kind of covered what you've done recently. It's so really, you've got quite a lot going on, but like, is there anything else you hope to accomplish or go after with the rest of 2022? Um, well, it's pilot season right now. So I'm right. just getting ready for that, you know, continuing to train and audition and hopefully see see what happens, seeing if this Hula series gets picked up and mm. if Chicken Girls continues on with more seasons. And yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, obviously, best of luck with, you know, the pickup yeah. potentially with, uh, you know, with your other projects and yeah, just best of luck in general going forward. Thanks again for taking the time. All the best. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. It was great talking to you.